I'm sorry I'm late. Traffic was awful. No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I know this legal stuff must seem endless to you, huh? Sorry. It's all right. Um, look, I, um, I just need you to sign a few documents for Jack's estate, and then we'll be all set here, and I'm hoping this is the end of them. Uh, Stacey, uh, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just exhausted. You, you want me to make you some lunch or no. something? No. Look, I, I know this is none of my business, and you've been having a rough time lately, but... Is there something going on between you and Clay? Hello, uh, Shana. Oh, look at all those papers. Is, um, is there a problem? was keep not true. Right. Well, what are you going to do now? Excuse us. Allie, I'm looking everywhere for you. Yeah? You hungry? Uh, you know, I always hate eating alone. Everybody looks at you like you got no friends. Will you save me the embarrassment? You know, the weirdest thing happened. Um, Louise just left. One day she was there, and the next day she was just gone. And Clay took the job as their nanny, huh? And no, Clay helped me find a really good Scottish au pair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was oh, her name is uh, Jeannie McCauley. Oh, that was very nice of you, Clay. Very nice. It was no big deal, Shannon. Or just a matter of a couple phone calls. Yeah, so Clay was just upstairs introducing the kids to Jeannie. I see you ladies have got a lot of work to do. I've got some to take care of myself at AE, so I'll be on my way. Thanks a lot, Clay. Thank I'll shake down and go. And uh, remember, uh, you know where I am if you need me. Oh, by the way, Jeannie and the kids seem to get along real well. Oh, good, thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> what? Clay showed up at Alden Enterprises, the board meeting yesterday, and voted you a proxy. Yeah, I know. I asked him to. It wasn't an important vote. But it was your vote. It was yours. Well, Shana, I was busy with the kids. What's the big deal? What's the big deal? We're talking about Clay Alden here, Stacy. I Stacey. know that. Have you forgotten everything he's done to us? He took Jack's pride. As well as his job, he humiliated him. He turned his back on Trisha, and I won't even begin to go into all the things that he's done to me. Now, certainly, you haven't forgotten all that, have no. you? No. Then what is wrong with you? You let that man choose an au pair for your children? How can you even stand to be near him? Hey, 
Where did um, Allie disappear to? I think she just went off to get herself a date. I don't know. She went to lunch with somebody. How are you, Arthur? Extremely well. <laughs> did you finish that English slip paper? <laughs> finish it? No. I mean, I don't have time for all that Beowulf stuff. I mean, is it supposed to be funny or scary or what? Heroic. Well, who is that Grendel? I mean, what, what's oh, that? He, he's the water monster. And uh, her mother. Well, here's what I really don't get. I mean, how did they have time to fight or do anything when, when, they, when they took so long to say anything? It's alliterative verse. Uh, symbolic poetry. Yeah. I'll just buy the cliff notes. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, may I have a word with you? Yeah. Hey, what's up, Professor? I must ask you for the keys to the rehearsal room. Well, I'm going to need them today to practice. There has been a, a restructuring of the music department this year. You will no longer need to practice here. Well, I don't understand. Did I do something wrong? No. Um, your scholarship has been revoked. What? What was the name, sir? Oh, we don't have a reservation, but we would like a very discreet table for two, away from the crowds. But of course, this way, please. This place is gorgeous. I've never been here before. <laughs> I spent half my life in places like these. Really? And it's nice to be here with someone who isn't jaded by wealth and life's experience. <laughs> well, I wouldn't mind at all this kind of jading. <laughs> You're funny, Allie. Have you ever thought of being a writer? Well, maybe. You know, I, I, um, I think it's wonderful you giving an endowment to AU. Well, I have such fond memories of my student days there. I really felt it was the least that I could. You have incredible skin. Um, you, you, you never told me you're um... Harper Collins. My mother named me after her favorite romance novel. <laughs> Sounds more like a character out of a detective novel. Are you interested in finding things out, Allie? Definitely. I bet you're one of those incredibly bright young women who always knows who did it before the end of the novel, am I right? <laughs> yeah. May I order for both of us? Sure. Nous voudrons deux salades saison et après le canard à l'orange pour deux. Merci. Speak French? Very badly. What I ordered for us was salads and duck with orange sauce. Is that all right? <laughs> that, I mean, that would be lovely. <laughs> hey! Hi. Don't you have lab? I'm having lunch. Are you meeting someone here? Yeah. The manager. I've got an interview for a job here. Catch you later. Boyfriend? Oh, no, absolutely not. I mean, Casey, he's much too young. I mean, that's the problem with guys my age. They think they're too sophisticated when they have no clue about real life stuff. Tell me more. Uh, Casey, he's, he's okay. He's, he's very moody, you know, quasi-adult, jaded. It can get real boring. The other day she took me to her bedroom. And she showed me all of her jewels. I mean, necklaces, diamonds this big, emerald rings, ruby bracelets, they were amazing. So I can't stay too long. What? After the duck, I'm gonna have to go. I know. Please don't leave me alone. You promised. I don't, what? To show me around campus. The other night, we only got as far as the student union. In the dark. Well, I... <laughs> I really have a lot to do this afternoon, but I could give you a tour tomorrow. Oh, but I have to meet with the dean this afternoon. Well, I know where it's at. I could write you a map. Oh, an artist, too. 
Skip your lab class. Oh, well, I'm going to. You see, I have um, a good friend of mine, Isabel Alden, who is having a ball tonight. And she made an appointment for me at 2 o'clock to get my hair done and a manicure. The harvest ball? Yes. Are you going? Oh, society gatherings bore me. Insignificant people with too much money for their own good. Yes, but fun to watch. If you're with the right person. You don't? You don't have a date? I hope you and your boyfriend have a lovely evening. Well, um, I was going with Charles McDonald. He was this um, land owner from, from Scotland. He, he was in Corinth um, studying American farming technique. But unfortunately, one of his sheep got ill and he had to rush back to Scotland. So uh huh. Since we both don't have dates. Would you like to go with me? Well, you said... Well, I can think of no prettier woman to have on my arm when I announce my endowment to AU. Oh, well, we could meet there. We could... Oh, my goodness. I, I forgot. I left my invitation at home. I just never thought that I would... Well, my invitation says Miss Allison Rescott plus one. And I can think of no better plus one than you. You're gonna be okay, Donnelly, you'll see. Where's Hannah, anyway? She's out. Oh. I, I knew you were downstairs, so I just told her to go to class. Uh -huh. Hey, I got some great chocolate chip cookies down there. Why don't Louis, I Louis, have you heard from Jeremy? Yeah, I spoke to him a little while ago. They haven't found the body yet, have they? Not yet, but they will. You really think Carter's dead? I hope so. How'd you happen to get mixed up with a creep like that? Oh, anyway? I can't think about that. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. I don't know how I let myself be fooled by him. Yeah, well, sometimes bad people can be very charming. Carter asked me out. And I had heard these really terrible things about him, so... So I went to talk to his ex-wife and hear her side of the story. And in doing that, I kind of stood Carter up where we were supposed to meet this, this restaurant for dinner. And then... Then I went to his motel room. I should have known you wouldn't believe in me. Trust me. I'm really sorry. It's a little late for sorry, isn't it? No. No, it's never too late. You betrayed me. I'm sorry. Really, I'm sorry. I wish I could believe that. And then... He hurt me. I hope they find him at the bottom of the river. That's the last one, okay? Okay. Except for the fact that you've totally ignored what I said. Shayna, for goodness sakes, what is the huge deal? The huge deal is that Clay has caused a huge amount of damage to a huge amount of people in this town, including your husband and Clay's own family. So what if he's changed? What she... if after everything that's happened, he's actually mellowed out? You're right. A rat is a rat. He doesn't turn into a field mouse in a few weeks. Shayna, he's good with the kids, and I need oh, that Oh, but right you've now. got this great au pair, oh, he Stacey. helped me pick out. You don't need him. You've got friends, you have people who love you, you have me. Okay, okay, I really appreciate that, Shayna. I really do. <sighs> you know, when Jack died, Trucker was there for me all the time, right? And when Trucker almost lost his life, he needed me. And that gave me a real purpose to my life. A reason, other than my children, to be important to someone. And now he and Trisha are getting married again, and I'm... <sighs> I've got to get on with my own life and take care of my own family. Stacy, I know. It's been hard on you. 
But it doesn't help to turn away from your friends. Shayna, I was in love with my best friend's husband. That was hell for me. You know, when Trisha told me that they were getting remarried, I couldn't even look at her. I just felt so angry and so resentful. I couldn't even congratulate her. I just... I just acted like a little high school girl who had been dumped by her boyfriend again. I know. When Jim died in the plane crash, I almost died with him. And it took me a long time to make it back, but I did because of my friends, because of you. See, all I'm saying is that I understand what you're going through, and I care about you. But Stacy, Clay hasn't changed, and he never will. I'm here. Use me. Trust me. Lean on me. But don't. Don't trust Clay. Oh, God. Maybe you're right. Hi. Oh, oh Shana, you're still here. Must be some big legal problem, huh? No. We're done. Stacy's signed everything. Oh. So you're just leaving then? Stacy, why don't we go out and grab some lunch, okay? I don't Come think on. so. No, Shana, go. I gotta talk to Jeannie and the kids. Really, it's okay. Think about what I said, please. Yeah. And call me if you need to talk. Okay. Okay, thanks. So, Clay, what brings you back to this neck of the woods? Well, to see you smile when you hear my proposal. What? This. Something guaranteed to chase all those blues away. Well, I was just up at the mansion, and I was looking at all the preparations for the harvest ball tonight, and I was thinking of you, and what fun it might be for you to go on up and sort of let go for a night. Oh, Clay, I, I appreciate it, but I... I, not with the kids, I, I Well, wait can't. a minute. With the kids, that's the reason that I got Jeannie for you, so you could let go and relax every once in a while. No, I, it really, it's kind of you. Oh, come but... on. Come on, look, you, 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 you go to the ball, you dress up, you put on a mask, <laughs> you'll be the princess of the whole ball. Well, yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. Do I take that as a yes? <sighs> okay. Good. 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 Oh, why don't I send the uh, limo to pick you up? Is this a date? <laughs> uh, this is an offer for a lift. Eight o'clock, all right? Yeah, sure. Eight o'clock is fine. Okay. I'll see you. Bye. Bye. Professor Lubbock, I can't believe you just took away her scholarship. I'm sorry. The committee has decided. You know that scholarship is the only way she can pay for school. There was no nothing I could do. How? How is she going to get her degree now? Look, didn't you tell me that Hannah was your best student? Yes. And that she had the potential to be a great artist? Yes. Then you're a liar, yeah, Professor. Dialy, Louis. Take it easy. Hannah has a great talent. With a recommendation from me, she will easily get into another school. Oh, but she can't say to AU? There are other considerations. What consider? Wait a minute. This came straight from the top, didn't it? Isabel Alden put you up to this. I didn't say that. You didn't have to. I have another student waiting. All right, old woman. This is officially war. So, who's the old guy? None of your business, and he's not old. He's mature. Big bucks, huh? Yes, he does happen to be very wealthy. Hmm. Too bad he can't afford a razor. Looks like he hasn't shaved since Monday. Did you get your kitchen job? No. Pity. So, is Mr. Designer Stubble gonna be your mysterious date to the Helter Skelter Ball? His name happens to be Harper Collins. And he also happens to be one of the most fascinating men I've ever met. Oh, big girl. Shall we? 
Yes. I can't let you be late for that hairdressing appointment. You are going to look stunning this evening. I cannot wait. Neither can I. 